Hello ladies and gents. We have a full length synopsis now. Completely full length synopsis for the Batman. So I thought we'd just talk about it. This is normally I probably just do like a quick bite sized video, but I think this I think this calls for a long longer video, a bit of a discussion piece anyway. So uh, new clues about the plot. Cool. Nice. Uh, you know, sort of a bleak nature to the movie, which you can kind of tell. There sort of seems to be like an exasperation in Robert Pattinson. He, he's exasperated. He's almost fatigued and tired. You can see it in the trailer. Um, but he's, th he's still very much conviction, you know. So let's have a look. Uh, da, 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 da. He, it is quite long actually well, there you go, it's long two years after stalking the streets as, uh, as Batman so he's been doing, doing it for two years that's cool, that's good, so it's not you know, year one so to speak uh, striking fear into the hearts of criminals has led Bruce Wayne deep into the shadows of Gotham City with only a few trusted allies Alfred Pennyworth, Lieutenant James Gordon Amongst the city's corrupt network of officials and high-profile figures, the lone vigilante has established himself as the sole embodiment of vengeance amongst his fellow citizens. So I guess that's kind of, oh yeah, cue the line. Uh, when a killer targets Gotham's elite with a series of sadistic machinations, a trail of cryptic clues sends the world's greatest detective on an investigation into the underworld, where he encounters such characters as Selina Kyle, Catwoman, Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin, Carmine Falcone, or Falcone, and Edward Nashton, aka the Riddler. As the evidence begins to lead closer to home and the scale of the perpetrator's plans becomes clear, Batman must forge new relationships unmask the culprit and bring justice to the abuse of power and corruption that has long plagued Gotham City. Or plagued, sorry. I really like this as a synopsis. So let's break it down bit by bit because there's a lot to unpack there, right? So he's been working for two years. Cool. Um, I think that there's, I think there's like a double-pronged sword here where he says, uh, you know, it, it has led Bruce Wayne deep into the shadows of Gotham City. So it's very specifically Bruce Wayne, not Batman. And I think some of that will be to do with, you know, Bruce Wayne as a person. As we see in the trailer when he says, you know, I, I've got nothing to lose or, you know, I'm not afraid to lose it all. I can't remember exactly what he said, but it's a very, very fatalistic line. And I think, I think this is what this part of the synopsis is teasing. It's very much that he has gone down that rabbit hole and he's almost past the point of no return. And I think maybe this film would explore that, seemingly, uh, and his return from that dark hole. Uh, now, obviously, with only a few trusted allies, Alfred Pennyworth, Lieutenant James Gordon, amongst the city's network of officials and high-profile figures, uh, the lone vigilante has established himself as the sole embodiment of vengeance amongst his fellow citizens. So Catwoman is not remotely good in any way shape or form some portrayal she can be here and there and you know whatever um you know I, I th that really does go hand in hand with the fact that he's been doing it for two years there's no one else really around he is just gotham city's protector he is the vigilante uh, in gotham city now i like this this part i really like so you know when a killer targets gotham's elite with a series of sadistic, I mean, I said um, machinations, you can say uh, machinations as well, but it's machinations, um, which is workings, uh, sadistic workings, plans, sort of like a pre predestined, if, if known as the, you can Google the word, but just as an FYI. Now, this is the interesting part. It says a trail of cryptic clues sends the world's greatest detective. So that's good. Good. Finally, a film outside of Christopher Nolan's attempt to do it. Finally, a film that looks to be putting the fact that he is the world's greatest detective front and centre. Because that is part of what makes him so special uh, as a character. He is the greatest detective. Um, and, he, and he solves it all. You know, that, that that's important. 
I think, personally. And I want to see him doing the detective work. I want to see a good portrayal of Batman with clues, going around, getting clues, solving the clues, and leading himself down a path of which results in solving the crime or the problem or whatever. That's going to be really special to me, I think. Um, now he says this. Or well, the synopsis says this. I'm like, he says this. No, the synopsis. Uh, obviously, investigation into the underworld. Now, that's almost as if, you know, these are encounters that he's never had before. You know, where he encounters such characters as Selina Carl, uh, Oswald Cobblepot, uh, and Carmine Falcone, uh, and Edward Nashton. Now, the Penguin doesn't look to have ever you know interacted with him before and neither does selena kyle in this movie like we can see where she says you know you're you're sort of uh, there's a line from either selena kyle or the penguin where they say you know you're everything um that they that they say you are um and so it looks like as much as he's been doing the vigilante and he's not been in the underworld the underworld of gotham you know the the ugly belly so that's interesting. I think that's really, that's quite telling of how little he, you know, that's the tip of the iceberg, basically. He's only been working the tip of the iceberg. And I think maybe maybe even he realises in this film, he's like, fuck me, wow, there's so much going on now. I'm I'm really not doing what I should be doing. Um, and then obviously we've got Edward Nashton there as the Riddler. Uh, and then this part is is quite telling, I think. And it says, as the evidence begins to be closer to home, now, there was a lot of people that thought that the Riddler would also be Hush, or a form of Hush. Now, it says, as the evidence begins to lead closer to home, it could be uh, that the Riddler knows who the Batman is, and knows that it's Bruce Wayne, right? That could simply just be what that is implying. Um, but it could also be that there was some nefarious dealings with Thomas Wayne, because there has been one or two storylines where Thomas Wayne has been, you know, a slight grey area. He's, you know, partnered in bed with Falcone and things like that. And not necessarily knew what was going on, but was still partnered up with him. So maybe it's teasing that, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, but then obviously it says the scale of the perpetrator's plans. And that's obviously as... Uh, the evidence begins to lead closer to home. The scale of the picture, it sounds. So maybe it's to do with bringing down the entirety of any elitism in, Ho in uh, I was going to say Hollywood, of Gotham City. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. I really like that. I, I love the sound of this. Uh, and then just goes, you know, Batman must forge new relationships. Batwoman. Gordon. Uh, uh, sorry, Catwoman, sorry. Gordon. Uh, Unmaster the culprit. The Riddler. But maybe there's another person. Maybe there is Hush, who knows? Uh, and bring justice to the abuse of power and corruption that has long played Gotham City. I love it. I think this is, I think it's banging. This is this is sick. This is great. Uh, I love the look of this film. I think it's going to be great. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, if you're new here, do hit subscribe. If you want any Christmas merch, support me and things like that. We've got some awesome Jasper merch. It's down below in the description box. Jasper's my dog, my border terrier. Just check it out. You might really like it. And we've got a Xenomorph ugly Christmas sweater. Anyway, thank you so much. Take care.